Every year, more than 1.7 million people in the U.S. are diagnosed with sepsis. Over 350,000 people die from sepsis every year in the U.S., which is more deaths than prostate cancer, breast cancer, and opioid overdoses combined. In fact, sepsis is the leading cause of death in U.S. hospitals, and it is the number one cost of hospitalization at around $53 billion annually. But although sepsis is extremely common, there are many misconceptions and unknowns about sepsis among the general public. So what is sepsis? Sepsis occurs when our body has an overwhelming and life-threatening response to an infection. When our immune system is healthy and working properly, it works to fight germs like bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites to prevent infection. But for reasons we don't entirely understand, sometimes our immune systems escape our normal controls and become erratic. This is the start of sepsis. Sepsis is a medical emergency that needs to be diagnosed and treated immediately. In fact, the risk of death increases between 4 and 9% for every hour that treatment is delayed. Untreated sepsis can lead quickly to severe sepsis and septic shock, which can result in a variety of serious problems, leading to organ dysfunction, a dangerous drop in blood pressure, and even death. Many sepsis survivors live with ongoing challenges, which may include amputations, difficulty with memory or concentration, anxiety and or depression, plus a compromised immune system which can lead to a higher risk of getting sepsis again in the future. Everyone is at risk, but especially infants, older adults, those with chronic illness, those with weak, impaired immune systems. When it comes to sepsis signs and symptoms, it's about time. The mnemonic T-I-M-E can help you recognize some of the signs and symptoms that one might experience. Remember, somebody with sepsis could experience any one of these signs or a combination of signs and symptoms. T stands for temperature, so be sure to look for temperature that is higher or lower than normal. I stands for infection, so watch for other common signs or symptoms of infection, especially if you believe the suspected patient was exposed to someone else with an infection. M stands for mental decline, so if you notice someone who is confused, sleepy, or difficult to wake up, it could be due to sepsis. E stands for extremely ill, so if you encounter someone who is in severe pain or discomfort, is experiencing shortness of breath, or has other extreme symptoms, it could be due to sepsis, and you should seek emergency care. If you suspect that someone you know might have sepsis, get them to an emergency room or call 911 right away. Emergency medical teams are best equipped to care for a patient with sepsis. So tell the medical care team that you are concerned it might be sepsis. Like anything else, prevention is the best plan and infections can be prevented by practicing good consistent hygiene, avoiding people with infections, and getting recommended vaccinations. Washing hands properly multiple times a day is one easy way to help prevent infection. Caring for wounds is also important. Every cut, scrape, or break in the skin can allow germs to enter your body and possibly cause an infection. So it's vital to keep wounds cleaned and covered until they heal. Vaccines have been developed for the prevention of many viruses, such as the flu, chickenpox, and COVID-19. Getting recommended vaccinations can help prevent getting these infections or becoming severely ill from these infections. If an infection does occur, follow the appropriate steps for treatment, including taking antibiotics or other medications prescribed by your doctor. This can help prevent that infection leading to sepsis. Lastly, after a hospitalization, it's important to follow instructions for post-hospital care, such as taking all medications as prescribed. Sepsis is the number one cause of hospital readmissions, so following a doctor's orders after release from the hospital is vital to helping prevent an unplanned trip back to the hospital. At Sepsis Alliance, it's our vision to create a world in which no one is harmed by sepsis. Learn about prevention, detection, care, and more at sepsis.org.